Hi everyone, it's Review for you, and I'll be bringing you another tutorial video. This one's about how to remotely control your PC from anywhere that has basically the internet over Wi-Fi or 3G or 4G for you guys in the US. Um, and yeah, remotely control your PC to uh, do file transfers, maybe to do yeah, like if you have a an assignment that you left at home that you would want to transfer to your phone and then print out or anything like that turning off your PC remotely or getting it to do something anything like that I'll just show you guys how to do that first of all you wanna go into the market and download a software called log me in ignition which is that it's actually thirty dollars in the app store I still can't get the freaking currency to change but it's called Log Me In Ignition. If you guys watched my previous video, an annotation will be left like right here on how to get apps for free on Android. You can get it for free, of course, and there will be no problems. So this is what the app looks like. You have to register with an email address. So I don't want you guys to see it. It loads up and... Oh, okay. Mine's already logs in. Uh, it logs in automatically. But yeah, I have my two computers set up: my laptop and my home PC. And uh, before you can actually connect to these, you first of all need to register an account. It's free, of course. And um, yeah, so let's put that aside. I'll just show you guys how to run through the. In right there. Uh, all you have to do is just register for a free account. I'm not sure why it's flickering. Register for a free account and uh, download the software. There's LogMeIn Ignition. Oh, no, no. The software is called LogMeIn Ignition on your phone, but the uh, thing is called LogMeIn Ignition. LogMeIn, just without the ignition part. I keep saying that. Uh, the free version, there's the pro version, and there's the free version. The pro just has a little more extras. Uh, I think it costs $200 or something like that. It's not really worth getting it unless you're really serious and you are like you have like a business or something. But uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and get that. I'm not sure if you can get the software for free. And uh, yeah, guys, so first of all, I'll show you what to do. Uh, I'll show you what it is. So currently this... Uh, laptop is turned on, so I can connect remotely to it. So, yep. Say, uh, retrieving host information, and I'm connected through Wi-Fi. You could also do this through 3G. I've done it before. Like, if you're at a, if you have 3G, or if you're like, say, at a McDonald's or something, anywhere that has free Wi-Fi, or Basically, I just do it over 3G, but you can do it over Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is faster, depending on your connection. So, yeah, it comes up like this. To be optimized to your phone settings. But, if I were to rotate it, and I'm trying to do this one handed, and kind of pinch it, you can just move it around, and you see, you can see on my computer the cursor's moving around. And it has this uh, little. It says this computer is being remotely controlled by MX4. Blah 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 blah. You get out of that, and you can just uh, click. Sorry guys, trying to do this one hand. So if you, you can just go through the uh, through everything. And so like it's just uh, I'm not this is what not what you would do like switch between tabs but I'm just get showing you guys uh, what it is zoom out and do everything like that see I have my YouTube channel loaded up here you can also do it I like to do a portrait uh, landscape I mean but you can also do a portrait just scroll down the page so, as you can see what I do on my phone the cursor moves around so I can just the thing that annoys me the most is just trying to close this little thing right up here 
because it doesn't let you because in order you have to close it to get to be able to exit a program because it always stays in that corner and it's annoying so you have media player you can also like play some music if you want if you're like sitting in the let's if you're sitting on your bed or something and you have your computer on the desk you can control it like that or whatever th there's like a hundred and one uses for this whatever it may be so thank you guys for watching this video tell me what you thought of this tell me of this uh... app tell me if you'll be getting it and uh... tell me what you thought of this tutorial do you like me doing tutorials and because i can't always do tech reviews because I have a shortage of products right now, so I'll be doing tutorials and stay tuned for my PC build video. If you want to see the how to get free apps video uh, early in this video, there should have been an annotation right there. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and do all that stuff. And I'll uh, see you in the next.